everybody, uh, my name's Lisa and I'm part of the Cultural Services team here at Southampton City Council. Uh, you'll normally find me at the Art Gallery, Sea City Museum and Tudor House, but today I'm at home and I'm going to do a really simple activity for you We're using recycled materials and we're going to be making, I don't know if you can see, a lovely garden in a jar. It's really beautiful and sunny outside at the moment. You might have a garden, you might not. But we're going to be using this recycled jar and creating our own garden inside. Can you see I've got some flowers there? I've got some grass and worms at the bottom. And here I've got some little butterflies fluttering around. If I take the lid off and pull one out, you might be able to see a bit better. Can you see it there? Right, let's get started. So, for this activity, you will need some scrap card, hopefully so you might be able to find something that's got a bit of green on it and a bit of colour. Crisp packet or two, doesn't matter what colour, up to you. You might need some string, or I didn't have any, so I used um, the thread out of a, an orange net there, you know, the time you get satsumas, things like that in. Um, you'll also need some sellotape, some scissors, a few colouring pens, jar, obviously, if I haven't already said that. And that is it. Maybe a Pritt stick, maybe not. I've got one on hand just in case I need it. Right, so let's get going. The first thing I did with my card, oh and by the way I haven't said already but if um, I'm going a bit quick for you, all the instructions for this are on the Art Gallery website. So go to Southampton City Art Gallery and have a look on the online resources and you'll find an instruction sheet that you can have a look at online or print off and you can follow the instructions step by step. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a bit of the card chop off a strip and I'm just going to zig that zag this backwards and forwards with my scissors. Do mine very quickly to make some grass. Now that looks not too much like grass at the moment. So what you can do is with your scissors you can trim it a bit more. I've already done a couple. Here, can you see I've trimmed it so it's a bit more zigzaggy. So do a few of those. It depends on the size of your jar, but you're going to need some to go around the bottom on the inside, and then you're going to need some to make the bit in the middle that the flowers come off. So you'll probably need about four or five strips of grass. Then when you've done that out of your cardboard box, you can also cut some stems for your flowers. Like that, that's quite a thick one there. You might make, want to make them thinner or thicker, depends on how thick your card is. And using some of your other card, you can cut some flower heads. Now, on this one here, I cut out some sort of tulip shapes. They're quite simple, really, aren't they? They're almost like you could cut an egg shape out and then you could zigzag it like I did with the grass, and then it'll give you two tulip heads. Or you might want to cut out something a bit more fancy. You could maybe make petals. Anyway, I'll just show you cutting out a tulip shape for now. So I've cut out like a little egg like that. And I'm going to go backwards and forwards with my scissors. Can you see? So it makes like a little top of the flower. And then you can either use your glue stick or your sellotape up to you to uh, stick that. Is it the glue there? Onto your flower stem. Like this. And then I found it was best to use sellotape. You can see I've already done mine and I sellotaped them to the back. And then what you're going to do with that is you're going to make two or three and curl them round so that they can stand up inside your jar. If I pull this one out, you might be able to see a little bit better what I mean. Oops. There you go. Can you see? So it stands up all on its own because I've curled it round. And then with your other bits of grass, you're just going to might need to curl them a bit with your fingers first. You're just going to put them in your jar and they should press against the side of your glass so they stand up on their own like that at the bottom. On mine I added some little pink worms. I cut some little pink worms out and stuck those on the grass before I put it inside the jar. You might want to do that. What else could you make maybe? ladybirds, caterpillars, what else do you find in grass, maybe some wood lice, up to you, you have a look anyway. So you've made your grass, 
put that in. You've made your flowers, pop them in, and then we need to make some lovely little butterflies. So to make those, I used a crisp packet. I got a crisp packet, you can see I've already chopped this one up. Depending on how big you want to make your butterflies, chop a strip off, and then what you're going to do is make, you might have done this with paper before, like a fan, so you fold it forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards. It's actually quite tricky to do in the air, so do it, press down, I'll do it on here, forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards. There we go, and it will start to open up like wings. Now to secure it, I used a bit of um, thread. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Can you see it there? Really thin bit of thread off of my orange net. And I tied that in a knot. That's quite fiddly to do, so I've already done one here. Might need an adult to help you with that. And then you can see you can fan open the wings. Okay, make sure your thread's quite long with a bit of string because you're going to need that to use that to secure it in your jar. Then, out of my cardboard, I cut a little shape like this and I coloured it to make my butterfly face. So, just did a couple of eyes and a mouth, like that. And then I coloured it in using my pens and made it nice and stripy. There it is, you can do whatever colour you want to. And then to secure it on, you're going to take your sellotape and just make a sellotape loop. I don't know if you've done this before, but you take a separate sellotape, it's about that long, and you fold it over, you fold it round, and you get like a, it's a bit like making a sticky fixer out of sellotape. And you can put that on the back of your butterfly. And then you can stick it onto your wings. Can you see? And then you can take your butterfly. I'll add mine to the jar I've already done. Make sure he's not going to crash into one of the other ones. Get a bit overcrowded in there at the moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He might crash into that one, mightn't he? Put him in there the right way up. And you'll need to sort of measure uh, where you're going to place it so it doesn't bang into your plants and bits and pieces like that. And then get a bit of sellotape. Conveniently, I've lost the end of it now. Oh, there it is. And then you can just tape it on to the top of the jar. If you've got some extra string, cut it off. Put a bit of extra string on some mine there. So now I've got one two oh it is getting a bit crowded they're not flying around too much maybe stick to two butterflies in your jar i've got one two three lovely butterflies in my jar you might be able to make something else maybe bees or dragonflies whatever you want really you have a go have a look on the internet and see what different animals there are go out into your garden and see what you can find maybe it's fairies who knows you could also decorate the lid of your jar you could colour in a bit of paper and stick it on or maybe you might have seen sometimes you can get scraps of fabrics and cut round them and put it over the top and secure it with an elastic band that might look nice mightn't it anyway I hope that's inspired you to make your own garden in a jar bring the outdoors inside also good for people with hay fever I've got a lot of hay fever at the moment so now I can enjoy looking at this instead of going outside and sneezing lots anyway See you another time. Go on the gallery website and have a look at all the different online resources we've got there for you. And also Sea City and Tudor House have got their own online pages as well. So there's plenty of activities for you to do at home. Bye for now.